Hey, welcome back guys, it's Crafty Fox, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build the New York City Fire Department FDNY Rescue Truck. So this is specifically Rescue Company number one, and it's an Ferrara Ultra Heavy Rescue Truck. Uh, this is a brand new 2021 redesign of my older one, you can see right over here. And you can see the main differences if you look in the front here. You can have a side by side. I made the center divider actually in the middle and a lot thinner than the original one. It was kind of offset to the side. And I also, I think I lowered like the top section a lot just to be more accurate because this stripe right over here apparently it was too high. So I just lowered everything down. And one of the main features of my build is actually the wheel design. And now it's like 1.5 blocks. Before it was a 2x2, two two, which I think this is more like a 2x2 two two to 1 scale instead of 1.5 to 1 scale. So if you think about it, like 1 to 1 scale, that would be a block. So 1.5 to 1 is just a half a block longer. So this is going to be uh, what I'm going to be using for the new wheel designs for future FDNY uh, fire trucks and other vehicles with these big wheels. I think this one is a lot more accurate. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the new design and let's get started. All right, so first we're gonna grab the materials. We'll take out acacia slab, polish andesite slab, dark brisbane slab, bedrock, red concrete, black concrete, and then nether brick block, slab, and wall. All right, so first off, we're gonna add in a bedrock. It's gonna be hovering above the ground, like a two by two. Then to the side, we'll add in this L shape of red concrete. Do both sides. Then behind, we'll add in black concrete, two blocks wide and 10 blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. All right, and then we're gonna make two blocks wide. And now we can add in the wheels. So take out another brick block. And we'll go diagonally in towards the back and add one here. Another brick slab on top, another brick wall in front. Skip a block and build the same thing just the other way around. And on the other side, we'll do the same thing. Add in the walls. And then we'll do the same thing in the front behind this part. So another brick block, slab on top, wall right behind it. And then we'll add in nether brick slabs and space in between for the axle. And same thing in the back. Like so. All right, so next we'll go right over here. Skip the block over the wall and add red concrete. Same thing in the front, just skip that wall, add red concrete, fill in the space in the middle. And then we'll go on the other side and do the same thing. All right, so next up, we'll add in um, polish and a site block. I'm gonna make it two by three here. And we're also gonna add one here in the middles. Then we'll add in a black concrete, two blocks wide. And I think we're gonna make it two by three, so two by three like that. And then we'll add in on this side, two nether brick or red nether brick blocks like that. And then we'll add in a uh, polish in a side stairs. We'll add that upside down facing towards the wheel. That. And the other side, we can do the same thing. All right. So next up, we'll add in a uh, red concrete. I'm going to make this two blocks tall here. And the other side, we're going to add three blocks long. Add another one up over here. And then we'll go. Uh, right in the middle, I think, yeah. Right in the middle of this, add in red concrete like this. Two blocks wide, and this is gonna go all the way across to the front. So we do need that stripe. All right, after we've done that, we'll take out this acacia sign. We'll add that right here to the side. Other side, same thing. And in the front, we'll add an acacia sign as well. Then we'll add in acacia slabs in the front corners and dark prism marine block, I mean slab, and then polish and a site slab in this row. All right, now on top, we'll add in a black 
stained glass block in the corners. And behind it, we'll add in black stained glass pane. Then we'll add in uh, two blocks wide of this black concrete. All right, so next we'll add in a dark prismarine slab here, acacia slab behind it, and acacia slab directly up. Other side, we can do the same thing. Then we'll take out a smooth quartz slab, and we're going to add two of them right above this. First, the back wheel, both sides, and then acacia slabs all the way across for the rest of this hole. Other side, same thing. Then we'll add in an acacia stairs upside down facing towards this first wheel. Other side, same thing. And then we'll add in smooth stone slab. We're going to add that right in the front of the front wheel. All right, and then to the side, we'll add in uh, these three polished black stone brick slabs, and then polished andesite slab, and then polished black stone brick slab. While on the other side, we can add in uh, two polished black stone brick slabs, polished andesite brick <laughs> andesite slab, and then two polished black stone brick slabs. So next we'll add in stone buttons. We're going to add that to the sides of all the wheels. Other side, same thing. And then we're going to add in a stone button underneath this dark prismarine slab. Black stone button next to it. The other side, we'll just add in stone button here. All right, and then the back, we'll add in a redstone torch right underneath that acacia sign. And inside, we'll add in, uh, there's actually a row of this dark oak trapdoor. So add in dark oak trapdoor here on the sides. And then another one behind it, but this one time we're gonna close them down because these are kind of like the, kind of like mud flaps, but they're like, I don't know, they have to do a fire, <laughs> okay. So we'll just add that row across like that. And then we'll add in um, two sides. We'll add in acacia trapdoor here. And then two iron trap doors here, and then polish andesite stairs in the middle. Dark oak fence gates here on the outer edges. And right over here, we'll add in an item frame with a red bed inside of it. And we want to make sure it's upside down. Like that. Then on top, we'll add in these two blocks tall, smooth quartz block. And inside two by two smooth quartz block like that. And actually the inside of this, that bottom area is gonna be red concrete, so change that. Alright, then we'll take out warp button, add that to the top and the bottom of this, stone button in the middle, other side, same thing. And we'll add an item frame above, I mean around that uh, top button. Add in a warp button with an item frame around it on the sides of the build. And then over here, there's going to be these two warp buttons here. All right, and then there's going to be these banners. These banners are actually pretty easy to make. So we'll just take out a black banner with white dye. And we just put inside the loom. And we'll make a border around it. And that's how you make the banner. Uh, ideally, I would make it a different color at the bottom, but I can't really do that. So do it like that. All right, so next we'll go back over here, add in this smooth quartz block, two blocks long like that. And the other side we'll add in smooth quartz block and then smooth quartz slab. And then we'll add in a TNT. And if you can't use TNT, just use brick. And then next on top, we'll add in a polish and a site blocks, two blocks wide here, both sides. And then polish and site stairs facing inwards. And the front will add in these two polish and site slabs. And then daylight detectors on the sides. And another one right here in the middle. And I'm going to make that middle one blue. And um, ideally you would use iron trap door. But if you can't use iron trap door. 
what you could use is a birch trap door and just close them up like this. And then for the rest, we'll add in a white carpet cross. And then we'll add in iron bars to sides for the side view mirrors. And then the front, we'll add in these two blocks tall iron bars like that. And then the front here, we'll add in a stone button on the sides, warp button over here, and an item frame around the other the headlights basically just to make them bigger like that and inside we'll add in this skeleton skull like that all right and then after we've done that over on top here we'll add in a crimson button right over here with a blackstone button underneath and the other side we'll add in a crimson button with an acacia button underneath and also this birch sign right to the side. All right, so uh, the next row, we'll add in a row again, red concrete all the way across. Like that, and then we'll take out a smooth quartz slab and then we're gonna make a row across like this all the way across. The other side, we can do the same thing. All right, great. So next up, we'll add in um, smooth quartz block. We're gonna add that to sides here. Well, in the middle, that's gonna be a black concrete two blocks wide. Then on top, we'll add in four blocks wide of polished andesite slabs. And then to the side here, we'll add in polished andesite block with the lapis lazuli and then um, smooth quartz block behind it other side we can do the same exact thing next we'll add in a uh, birch bun to the side of the lapis lazuli and dark oak bun to the side of the andesite all right so on this side just be aware both sides are actually different so on this side there's going to be Another two smooth quartz block. And then we'll go diagonally inside and add in a TNT with a red nether brick uh, slab in front of that. And behind that, there's going to be five blocks long of yellow terracotta. And then polish and a site block here. And then two smooth quartz stairs. Upside down, they're going to be facing towards the middle on both ends. So there's going to be two here and then two here. And the middle will be this L shape of this oak stairs like that. And behind it, we can actually change that into smooth quartz block like that. And right over here, there's going to be these three oak buns. All right, then for this top section in the back, Add in a row for like gray carpets like this. And then two of them here in the middle. And then to the side, we'll add in uh, this smooth stone slab on top of the lapazuli. And then iron trap doors all the way to the back. Add dark oak button inside that polished andesite block. And then we'll go on the other side. Let's work on that. So this side's going to be uh, two black glass blocks. Skip a block, another two. A TNT with a red nether brick slab down the bottom. And then there's going to be um, yellow terracottas. Two of them spaced apart. Smooth quartz in the middle. And then an oak stairs. It's going to be facing towards the back and then smooth quartz slabs either side of it. Polish and a site block here with a dark oak button. All right, then inside this, we'll add in a black concrete behind the windows. And then we'll add in smooth stone slab right above this half of the window. And I believe it's iron trap doors for the rest all the way across. We're also going to add in um, 
polished black stone brick slabs here, two blocks wide, and then two gray carpets. And then um, two light gray carpets. Then two smooth quartz slabs here, and then uh, light gray carpets surrounding it. Then you can fill in the middle of this area with uh, polished and slate blocks. And then we'll add in this yellow carpet next to that slab. And then right over here next to this slab, we're going to add two gray carpets. And the rest of the roof, it should be light gray carpet all the way across. Like that, so it's all one unit. And it looks like that. Right, so next up, we're going to add in stone bun. And we're going to add that right behind this stairs like that on the side both sides like that and now we're going to take an inspection to see if we are all done with the build because i feel like we are uh, but yeah i think that's actually pretty much it on how to build the fdny uh, rescue truck in minecraft hope you guys enjoyed the video if you do remember to hit that like button down below subscribe if you had already join our discord and I will probably be making future updated videos on the other FDNY apparatus. Uh, but anyways, see you guys in the next one.